Yes. In this one, we're doing the clinch knot. And we're doing the improved clinch knot. Probably the most famous knot that there ever was in the fishing industry. I get that, but I'm gonna give you my little spin on it. Tips and a couple tricks that I do when tying this knot that I don't really see too many people talk about. It's by far my go-to when it comes to fluoro and mono connections. I really like this knot for clear line. Are there better knots out there? Yes. Is this the knot that I should be using? Maybe. Is this the knot I should use in every clear line situation? Maybe. If you have a better knot that you want me to do, let me know. But this is the knot that I use all the time. Super simple. Roll it. All right, guys, so the basics. Right, I'm using braid for this example, just because it's easier to see with this neon. But you're gonna take your tag and you're gonna go through whatever you're connecting. From there, you are going to twist your tag end around your main line. Whether you twist the hook, which makes it easy, or you just twist it around. Now, first question is usually gonna be, how many times do I twist it? This is what I don't see many people talk about. The amount of times that you twist it is based on the pound test of your line. The lower the pound, the more the twists. The higher the pound, the less twists are needed. I have 60 and I even have a 100 pound Genkai mono. To tie 100 pounds and even 60, you could not do eight, nine, 10 wraps. It would be impossible to get it tied. But lower line, 15, 20, 30 pound, you can do more wraps and the knot will clinch on itself. So again, if I tie the tag end around the main line, right? On this one, let's do, you know, four or five wraps. From there to do the clinch knot, right? And I, I grab my main line with my pinky and my ring finger. You're gonna take your tag and you're gonna go back through this loop. And pull this tight. That is the clinch knot. And it just clinches on itself, makes this nice little set of barrels. That's your clinch knot. All right, now the improved clinch knot is the exact same knot. You're gonna go through whatever you're connecting. You're gonna twist the tag around the main line. Then you're gonna go back through the eye and that would be your clinch knot. If you pulled this tag, that's your clinch knot. But now to make the improved, you're gonna go back through the original loop. Now what I do is I like to pull this tag end so that it starts my barrels. Once I'm started, then I pull from the main line, which will bring it down and clinch it on top of itself. And that creates the perfect barrels. This is a more locked knot. This is the knot that I use for 99% of all clinch knot situations. This is the knot I use, the improved clinch knot. All right, guys, now for mono. So I know this is going to be difficult to see, so I'm going to do my best. 60 pound mono. We're going to see how many wraps it would take. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. I'm going to try five. You can see, got quite a few wraps of the tag around the main line, through the eye, and then back through the main loop. Now, mono is more difficult than braid to tie. So with this, I would pull this tag. So you can see these are kind of like braided twists, right? They're not really barrels yet. And you'll know once you try it, but they're like braided twists and I want to get them to barrels. So what I do is I then pull my tag end and it starts to bunch them on top of each other. Now it's gone by pulling this tag end, it's gone from like a braided knot to like your barrels over top of each other. It's basically started. Then you pull your main line so that the knot cinches down onto whatever you're tying. And that makes it so much easier if you pre-start the knot. So you basically tie it up high, pull your tag so that the barrels get wrapped on each, on each other, pull the main line so that it cinches back down onto, the, to, onto whatever you're tying. 
and that makes tying this knot with mono, especially heavier mono, much easier. All right, now this is 80 pound mono. So for 80 pound, I would not be able to do the same amount of barrels that I did for 60 pound. So 60, I did five. This one, I'm gonna do four. So one, two, three, four. Through this loop. Now again, I'm gonna pull this tag to start my barrels. It's gonna make everything much easier. So now my barrels get started. And then pull my main line. And clinch it down on itself. Much easier. If I tried to do that with five, it would be so much harder because it's too many barrels. One other little trick that I like to do when I'm tying with mono, you do not have to do this on every knot or you'll drive yourself nuts. But if I'm at home and I'm tying a bunch of pre-tied leaders, you can cut your tag. And just as a added security measure, I will take that tag and I will burn a little ball. And now I've got this little bead that's burned into it. So if it were to ever slip, that ball will catch it. We've got a last little security measure. If it breaks, it's going to break. And I've got one hell of a fish story. But just a little security measure, a little trick that you can do that I kind of like to do on uh, my pre-tied leaders if I know I'm going for something bigger. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. That is the improved clinch and the clinch, the fisherman's knot. Super awesome knot. I use it all the time. This is the main knot that I use for mono and for fluorocarbon.